Why these plays? Why Tom Murphy? Why now? Well, Tom Murphy is uh, one of the great writers uh, in the English language of the 20th century. He's one of Ireland's greatest writers ever, but he's too little known abroad. We want audiences to have an opportunity to see this man tackling the issues of Irish identity and what it is to be Irish in the context of emigration and in that global context. This will be uh, Druid's third time. Third time. With us here at Lincoln Centre Festival. Uh, last year you were here with Sean O'Casey's The Silver Tassie. That's right. And in 2007 we had the wonderful Druid Singh. That's all right. of the plays of John Millington Singh. That's right. And Druid has a continuing history with Tom Murphy as well. Yes, in the early 80s mm -hmm. we began to want to explore new work mm -hmm. and essentially I've begun to know Tom at that point. Tom was an established writer way, way above Druid in the, in the hierarchy of, of things. And, but I came, started to get to know him. Um, Tom is from Tune, which is in County Galway. And gradually the idea evolved of Tom becoming writer in association, uh, which he did in the early 80s. And that's when we started the first productions of uh, Famine and of Conversations in a Homecoming. And so there's been a continuing relationship with him. Could you put uh, Tom Murphy in context uh, uh, with uh, the writers of Ireland? I think that one of the richnesses of theatre writing in Ireland is that the writers are also very, very different. Mm -hmm. So there's nobody who writes quite like uh, Tom. He would be seen in the same uh, pantheon as Brian Friel. Brian mm -hmm. Friel and, right. and Tom are our two uh, master writers for the theatre. Uh, at this point. He would have been influenced by Singh, he would be a passionate lover of Singh. Yeah, but right. he also can trace his influences from uh, O'Neill, mm -hmm. uh, Tennessee Williams mm -hmm. in particular. He's a, a, a distinctive voice. A very distinctive voice. Yes. He has also uh, uh, been a big influence on other writers as well. Yes. Can you speak a little bit about that? Um, well, I do know that the first production of Whistle in the Dark, which actually, it actually premiered in London. Right. and. Pinter was very influenced by it, and all subsequent Irish writers have been influenced by Tom. Can you talk a little more about uh, uh, Tom Murphy's use of language? He's a great passionate lover of music, and, um, and he's also actually a very good uh, tenor. Um, so the plays are really, I mean, if you approach them in a sense, in the same way as you'd approach a, a piece of classical music in terms of movement and theme and evolving of theme. It's one of the ways that you can un unlock the plays because the meanings are contained in the sound of them as much as everything else. He, he has an incredible ear for the little nuances of sound and phrase. Um, I know like when we go into the rehearsal room and start to read these plays, you know, the first table reading with the cast, um, if Tom has written three dots after a line, it means something different than if he has written two dots or a comma or whatever. And he's like a conductor, right. a piece of music, so that you absolutely have to obey the score yes. and achieve your understanding of the text through the music of the pieces as much as through your brain. Mm -hmm. um, and with the result then that, you know, it, it, it's almost like a piece of music.